All right, so um, in this lesson, we are going to list our posts and have it show uh, read more, tags, uh, headers, and navigation. And um, let's get coding. So on our index page, we are going to find all the published um, posts by saying publish is true. And also we want to order it by the ID in descending order. Okay. And we want to add our page data to this. Okay. So now we've done that before. So now when we come here, we reset, nothing happens because we haven't done anything in our index. So now in our index page, we can uh, go ahead and loop through our posts by saying post at each, uh, do, and it yields post back. And we can end our loop here. So in here, we have access to individual posts. So I can go ahead and uh, truncate our post or title. And we want to shorten it, uh, the length to seven, 70 characters. And we have separator like that. And we can end our truncate. Okay, so we could put a line break there. And then below our post title, we can say time ago. And this is when the post was created. So we say post dot created at. So this is what we need uh, for now. So we have the post and we have when it was created uh, shown below. All right, so looking here, we have uh, read more. So let's see how we can do that. So down here uh, in a new paragraph, we are going to uh, do another truncate. And this time is going to be on the content. So content is one of the, the methods in our table. So uh, one of the fields. So again, uh, the length, I'm going to use 104 and uh, the separator is still the same. But but this time around, we are going to pass in a block uh, to our truncate. So we're saying after you've truncated it, we want you to create a link called read more. Okay, and the read more is going to link to our post path and we give it a post that we want it to, to use. Okay, so that is our truncate there and we have our a block that we're passing to truncate. All right, so now um, if we go into our browser and refresh, down here we can see we have our content, so we have our read more. Uh, read more at the moment takes us to a uh, post show, which is blank for now. Okay, so now uh, if we come back over here, we have our tags. All right, so now we can go ahead and create another paragraph. I think in our tags, we only have one tag um, seeded per post. So let's have a look and see how that goes. So we loop through all the tags for this particular post. And then we can go ahead and create a link. Uh, a link to tag.name. And for now, uh, this link will go nowhere. So we'll just say hashtag there and we can close like this. Okay, so now we have uh, one tag uh, shown for every post. But we, if we have more tags, it will show multiple tags on the same line. All right, so uh, we've done a few of this. I'll we'll read more. Then we have this here, limit posts based on the settings. Okay. All right, so let's do that now. So if I go into our post controller, we have a per method, um, which, which is used by Kaminari to limit how many pages we can show. So if I had code five in there, you can see we only have five records uh, being shown to us. And um, down here, I'm going to add our paginate method. So it's a paginate uh, posts, and that's all we need. So we have five records. Uh, because of our per, uh, per page, and then we have the paginated view down there. 
So to make this read from our DB, I'm going to define a method here, uh, call it self post per page, and we say setting.first.post per page. So remember, post per page is coming from our setting, uh, the field there. So that's what Rails is reading for us. So now we can have a way of referencing that method so by saying setting.post per page. So depending on what we set from the back end, so if I come here and I say admin uh, settings new, it takes us here. So I could say, for example, post per page should be five and hold my command, uh, copy this, I just come over here and paste. So we have two pages open. All right, so here, just go back into our index. So we still have five uh, being shown. And here we can change this to two. So come back here, refresh the page. We only have two records being shown per page. So it works. We can uh, control how many pages been listed in the front end uh, from the back end. So that's exactly what we wanted to achieve. So that works. All right, so now we can say we've listed all the posts. Uh, we have paginated them. You could click on read more. Uh, you could only show published and all this uh, are done. So we can come here and just shade this off. So in the next lesson, we are going to work on the rest of the post. All right, so we have done a few things here. Uh, we've completed a, a few things also. So that's where this uh, lesson ends. I'll see you in the next lesson.